Let's get her going. I'm Brian with Midwest Gun Talk, and today I actually went out and got the most sought after handgun that's been released in the past 10 years. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the High Point C9. Real piece of work right here. I'm excited to see how it goes. That didn't even rack one. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't one? even rack one. <laughs> Try it again. What the fuck? Slam it back. Pull it back hard as fuck. There we go. Yes, sir. All right. Y'all are talking about recoil, and I'm over here like, what recoil? What recoil? You've got to fire this. Yeah, let me get let me get that thing. Dude, it's so different. Let me get let me see that bag. But there's really no recoil, which is kind of weird, right? Well, you can't have recoil I thought, when it weighs 10 pounds. I'm gonna be honest. I thought this was gonna be like a two shot, three shot jam. This is a piece of shit. But I'm actually surprised with how that first magazine went, to be honest. Is that your new home defense gun? Well, no, but I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that because of the reputation it has. Maybe people were just too harsh on the way it looks. Like, like the pistol from Halo 2. Because it's kind of, it, it's, it's kind of big. Here, try it out. Slap, slap the mag hard. I'm excited. Okay, it did rack one. I don't know, man. Oh, it bit the fuck out of me. Look at that, it's still in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. It's a kinky bitch. Huh. It looked like it tried to strike it. Let me get that one round you picked up. Besides the slight injury, it shoots smooth. It's ugly as fuck. It's got a bad reputation like the high school whore, but come to find out after a few drinks, she's not that bad. Looks kind of like a SIG. <laughs> Let's keep going. So, so you choked up on that fucking I tail, choked, right? I choked up on it. That's hard. what it was. Yeah. yeah. Dude, isn't it weird though? I, you know what? It's weird, right? <laughs> like, dude, maybe. Why? Hold on. Why is this so bad? <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, why is this so bad, people? <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. It's ugly as fuck. It looks it looks like the gun you draw in first grade. Like with <laughs> crayon and like scratch paper. <laughs> but it's it's not it's not the worst gun I've ever shot, if we're being honest. That was the light primer strike. Alright, let me let me get another mag in this. I don't hate it. We had a bad first date, but after we got over that little scuffle, we're we're good. So here's one thing that I do like about this. The trigger is like a 1911 trigger. I don't know what they call that. 
but I think that's kind of cool. And how much did you pay for this? 179. It was retail 179. For 179 dollars, you guys, you can get just an absolute fucking cannon of a gun. Get in there, girl. Spit on. See if it goes better that way. Ugh. Quit it. Stop it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's not going all the way into battery. What's going on there? These are just kinks, guys. The gun's not broken in yet. It's accurate. I shoot like shit and I'm pinging targets. Let me get the mag. For $179, you get some nice orange and yellow sights. Really easy to pick up. I'm impressed with that. You get 10 rounds in a magazine. It's an absolute beautiful piece of work. High points onto something. I think uh, I think companies like Kimber and Sig and hell even Glock can take some pointers off this. It's easy to aim. Weight's a little bit heavy, but like like Brian said, who why talk about recoil when you got something that weighs 11 pounds? Trigger pulls real easy. It's smooth trigger. I should have bought one of these a long time ago. That ammo you're shooting, those are steel casings, right? No, they're what nickel, uh, nickel plated. Gotcha. Not nickel, uh, aluminum plated. Well, it hasn't happened with Lunix, those light primer strikes. Yeah. So it could be the ammo, it could be this. But we're, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go with the gun. So far, my standpoint, this is so fucking heavy that you can't really feel. Normally, when you rack around in like your Glock or your Sig. You can feel that round getting grabbed and pushed into the cha into the, the chamber. This you can't feel that. Yeah, so you always got to make sure that that there's one seated in there. Ooh, look at that. So now the malfunctions are starting to come out into light, okay? Oh yeah, that's that's in there. And if we're being honest, guys, the thing weighs fucking 12 pounds. Even if there is a malfunction, just hit the motherfucker. You have you have a weapon. I'm a rocket man. Yeah, so maybe after more rounds go through it, maybe it'll get better, maybe it'll get worse. Who knows? But I mean, it, <laughs> it's, it's really weird. Really the thing's weird. a piece of shit. Who are we kidding? I don't know, dude. I mean, if I, if I, was, if I was on the streets and I needed to, uh, you know, take down the op, you know what I'm saying? High point. That's his, uh, that's his Glock 40. That's his problem solver. I'm done shooting it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still not done. I want to, I want to send it. Send it. So the first round we're going to send through a, it's going to be a horny round and then the rest Linux munitions. Went 
well. Whole mag, like butter. No malfunctions? Like butter. All right, let me get one last mag and then I'm, I'm done because I'm... You keep saying that, but... Yeah, what's happening is my street side's coming out. And I think I need to do a little bit of role playing. I think you like it more than you more than you say. I'm not gonna admit it. <laughs> I have a reputation to withhold. <laughs> You're right. It holds eight rounds, even though it, they 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 say it's a ten round. It yeah, holds eight. That's what I'm saying. Like that wasn't just me, right? All right, we're gonna do a little bit of role playing. I'm gonna go spin the block on the ops. Hey, there you go, right there. I can see why. I can see why this is used on the streets. Maybe one more mag, just one. Just one more mag. I think I got three rounds in my pocket. I got two rounds. Woo! I wasn't even aiming at the steel anyway. I really do like it. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna lie. It's weird, right? For a, for so, a, yeah, for the, I don't know. Now, now I highly doubt that we get the only one good one that they produce. You know what I'm saying? I highly doubt that. So why? What is it? Is it because it's not a Glock? It's not your stereotypical firearm? No, it's, it's, it's shit. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, sh like, it, it's not smooth shooting, but it, it shoots good. Define smooth shooting. It doesn't feel good in the hand when you're shooting it. It's not like when when I pick it up and aim and it, it just feels good. It, it like feels a VP9. I get it. Yeah, it's not it's not a VP9. Sure. Or, or a 509. But whatever. The trigger's not bad. It's really not. I've felt worse triggers on guns that costed five six hundred dollars more than that. Uh, the reset is trash. No, yeah, the reset's garbage. Yeah, but the the what feel not bad. The feel of the trigger, it's not grainy like this. I think, dude, I think you're just looking at it and seeing the holes, and you're no. thinking 1911. It's not bad. No, the trigger on this 509 is worse okay. than that. Hold it. And you can't deny that. The reset on it is garbage. The, yeah, the re. Well, I mean, it's got a. There is no reset. Yeah, it's like a fucking inch. So here's one thing, if you guys can see it on camera, the safety right here is really rugged on the edge. So when you go to push that up, it's it's really stiff and that slams into your finger. And I think High Point was getting at, this thing doesn't work half the time anyway, so why need a safety? I mean, regardless, anyways, safety always off. That's Trailer Park Boys number one, 101. Good call. You know, I, it, I think it does shoot solid. I'm not, I, I don't like it. I'll say that. I am surprised that, that it's performing better than I thought it would. You know what I mean? I'm also surprised. Yeah, I am. It's I, not, it's the not reputation. The reputation I heard of high points was jam every other round, garbage, feels like shit. And I don't, I don't. I've had a what a couple misfires. The gun's brand new. We took the packing grease off. You put a little bit of oil on it. It's not bad. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Yeah, I'm not carrying this fucking thing. It's a side bitch. For sure. Just don't just don't let anybody know. Yeah. It's like the fat girl at the party. You take her to the bathroom and that's it. <laughs> no one knows about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd recommend this to anybody. 
Well, there's, I, I guess the only person I could recommend it to would be like, if you can't afford a Daisy BB gun, then definitely go with this guy. <laughs> Here's the deal. If you guys have $179.99 burning a hole in your pocket and you have no idea what to spend it on. Well, also if you don't have a firearm. But it, I'm, I'm having fun shooting it. But I, I don't know if I'm having fun shooting it because it's known to be shit and it kind of changed my mind. Because I have fun shooting guns regardless. But it's the fact that it's a high point and the aura around the high point I think is making me enjoy it more than I should. But it's fucking ugly. Regardless, overall, this like went down in history as being a piece of shit. The biggest, probably. Definitely the heaviest. And, and I think it's cool that it's part of my collection now. Are you ever going to get rid of it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shoot this boy out of it. I don't know how long it's been on the ground. Got a late primer strike. That sounds like a good idea. I just picked this up stuck in the mud. It could have been out here for two weeks, a month. I don't know. Give it here. I found it. Oh, dude, that's so rude. I found it. I'm scared. Just fucking aim down sides before I get eye problem. Dude, this motherfucker is solid. I can tell you what. My P365XL wouldn't have ran that. This thing. You can even adjust, you can even adjust the sights back here. That's a pretty good feature. One other thing I want to talk about. This, you guys might think this is a, a, a striker indicator. It's not. I thought it was. Look at this. Still there. Still there. So I don't know. One other thing, one last thing. These uh, cocking serrations, they're faced forward. So you get a really, a really good grip on that. That's another thing I think other companies can take a, a page out of their book. The finish is nice. It feels like Rhino Liner. If you guys are familiar with that, it's that's durable as hell. I think I might pick one up in 380. It's fun. I'll go ahead and let you have your uh, beautiful piece of machinery back. Uh, I don't. I don't know about 380 because this is so heavy. Is the 380 blowback going to be enough to <laughs> even keep rack it going another round in succession? A full magazine? Nah. I don't know. I don't know. So as you can tell, guys, we stay strapped up. I'm not staying strapped with this. I'm gonna. I'll stick with my Sig. It's because you're embarrassed. Okay. Okay. I'm not embarrassed. It's just the world doesn't need to know that I have a high point. What did you do when you picked up the gun from Academy this morning? Dude, I told you. He had a magazine and he covered the high point box so nobody could see that she was ringing up a high point. The world doesn't need to know that I have a high point. All in all, guys, that was our quick little rundown of the high point C9, the high point Yeet Cannon, or the high point piece of shit. Whatever you guys want to call it, that's what you can. Lunix Munition, you ran flawlessly through this gun, and that says a lot being a high point. As you can tell, I shot some Winchester through it, and it was given jams, some malfunctions. If you can run successfully through a high point, you got to be quality ammunition. Until next time, guys, we appreciate you.